Hallelujah. 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 Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. 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 Glory. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Glory. Praise the Lord. How many free people we Hallelujah. got today? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah, somebody. I don't need an organ. I don't need a drum. Amen. I got a hallelujah on the inside of me. Hallelujah, somebody. I dare you right where you're at, right where it's happening at. I dare you right now. Hallelujah to throw up your hands. Go thank back you. your arm. You. Just begin to say, Lord, thank I thank you. you. Hallelujah. Thank you. If you've been through anybody thank like you. anything like I've been thank through you. for the last two weeks, oh, all glory, I got glory, in my glory. mouth is praise, praise the you. Lord. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah, somebody. Oh, Hallelujah, glory, somebody. Glory, I believe glory, God glory. is doing something ah, right now in the midst of your praise. I believe in praise and worship. God I did something amazing oh, in the yeah. midst of your prayer. I believe right where you right at in there. your apartment, right in your house, you have just provoked, oh, hallelujah, glory, the fire glory, of God to glory, come down glory, glory. and begin to consume everything Jesus. that does not belong. I decree and I declare something is about to happen. Hallelujah. I decree and hallelujah. declare hallelujah. because you dare to praise him yeah. like that in the midst hallelujah. of everything glory, you're going glory, through. God glory, said, glory. I'm about to do something for you oh, like you glory. ain't never seen thank before. You, you. I don't know. I heard Ronald Rucker say he about to ready to oh, run. Yes. I I'm about ready to run. For a matter of fact, it got so good, I was even on step signing. Yeah. During the, the Caribbean stuff, uh -huh. I had a step because oh, I knew yeah. the Holy Ghost was on me. And guess what? Because the Holy Ghost is on me. Glory. He'll keep me in heavenly rhythm here yes. on the earth. Because yeah. I'm telling you, yeah. I came to praise God. I give God. You. Glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah, somebody. And Hallelujah, you somebody. And somebody. And we bless Hallelujah, you Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah. Man, Hallelujah. listen, y'all. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I feel Hallelujah. like God is about to do something great. I feel like God glory, is about glory, to manifest glory, himself glory, like we glory. ain't never seen it before. <laughs> now, I'm telling yes. you right now, I told y'all <laughs> on my Facebook Live on the other day, let me give y'all an announcement. Hallelujah. Let me give hell an announcement. Yeah. Guess what, y'all? Because it brought me back. Hallelujah. I'm going to praise the Lord. Oh, there will the be no rocks that cry out. I told y'all <laughs> on your Thursday, one of my favorite Woo. characters in the movies is Freddy uh -huh. Krueger. Uh -huh. Why? Because every time they thought every they had time. Freddy, Freddy would come back and he said, I'm back. Hey. Guess what? I got an announcement. No, I got an announcement. It ain't just for me. It's for y'all new beginners. We're Guess back. what? It ain't just I'm back. Guess what, y'all? We are back. back. Somebody yeah. shout glory. Glory, glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. We bless you. Hallelujah. 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 Man, I'm just believing Woo. something great. Oh my God. I just felt something in yes. my spirit. 
I just felt yes. something in my I, spirit. I, so yes. let me, I got to release this. Ooh. This is what happened in praise and worship. Uh -huh. I heard the Lord say, he's about to expedite some miracles. Expedite. Did you hear miracles. what I said? God said, mm. while we were in worship, while you were there with your hands up, while you were laying in your bed, while you got up out of your bed, he said, I'm about to expedite some miracles on your behalf. And he told me to tell you this. The wait is over, and the wait is over. Oh. The W-I-T is over, and he said, the wait is over. Now, yes. he said, yes. give him one more big shout. Oh. Yes, go. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> So let's get into what oh, the Lord has to man. say today. Welcome, new beginners. Welcome, Facebook. Man, God gave me something today. Y'all see, I changed my shirt today. Uh -huh. I'm going to tell you why I changed my shirt when I get into this message. Go on and start my timer, son, because I'm about to get If y'all give me about 40 minutes of your time, I believe these 40 minutes are going to change your whole life. Yes. I believe God has spoken to me. Yes. About what he's about to do for you uh -huh. in this season. Yes. Now, I told you on last week, God said, be of good cheer, new beginnings. Yes. Because he said, there's not going to be any loss or no injuries in yes. this journey. And guess what? As of last week, uh -huh. God fulfilled what he said. Yes. Now, guess what? I got something else to tell y'all today. My God. God said, I'm about to recompense you for everything you've been through. Right? God said, I'm about to pay you. Yes. And he said, if you can praise me, I'll pay oh, you. Glory. He said, if you can praise me, I'll pay you. And the magnitude of your praise is going to determine the magnitude yes. of my... Oh. Yes. That's why he had this song on today. He said, the magnitude of the praise is going to determine the magnitude of your blessing. God, now, I yes. dare you right now, yes. just... Ah! Hallelujah! Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Y'all hear I got a different voice in here today. Bless in case y'all want to know, that is not Pastor T with a hoarse voice. <laughs> that is Pastor Antoine. And yeah. I got Patrick in here today. For a matter of fact, Patrick just woke up. Amen. Yeah. He just woke yeah. up and said, praise the Lord too. Yeah. Hallelujah. Glory. So let's get into what God oh, has to say. Name. Bless his name. Woo, God, I bless feel it. Name. For a matter of fact, somebody type in there, the wait is over. The wait I got is a, over. The wait is over. I'm telling the you, God has just over. lifted some stuff off of you. I don't care what's been binding you. Woo. I don't care what's been holding you. God just told me to tell you again, the wait is over. The wait and the is expedited over. blessing. Now, while I was taking a shower today, this is what God told me. He Thank said, you. expedited freight move every day. Every day. It moves every hour. It moves every minute. He said, as long as you keep a praise in you, I'm about to expedite what I'm about to do for you. And what everybody else been waiting on, it's about to hit your house. Oh. <laughs> Woo! It's about to hit your house yes. right now. I got an announcement to make to New Beginners Ministries. Whatever you do right now, yes, don't you throw in the towel. Yes, you are on the brink of something yes, big. God. And God said, don't give in. Yes, don't God. give up because I'm about to be God. Yes, God. Oh, like, hallelujah. So y'all can see I'm on fire. I'm always on fire. Hey, yes. man, I don't need an audience, hey, man, because I got fire shut up it's in so me. Fall. I got the word of God yes. that's burning in me yes. that's ready to come out of me because yes. God is ready to manifest himself right now My God, yes. in Jesus name so let's get into the word of the Lord because I gotta leave y'all with a word oh God Oh, God. Oh, bless his name. Oh, bless my his name. God. Bless his name. I don't know how I'm going to do this here. <laughs> Hallelujah. I got to. Uh, well, let me drop this in you. I ain't going to give you the word first. I got to drop this in you. Because I want to tell you. I got 40 minutes. I got all 40 minutes to tell y'all everything I got to say. But let me drop this in you. Hallelujah. This is what God told me uh -huh. while I was preparing for this message this morning. I was sitting at my kitchen table. Uh -huh. And the Lord came and said, Greg. And I said, yeah, Lord. He said, tell New Beginnings uh -huh. Ministries, I'm about to make them my et cetera. Et cetera. Et cetera. I said, what? Wait a minute. He said, yeah. He said, son, tell them I'm about to make them my et cetera. Oh. So I 
had to change my shirt. <laughs> because when I looked up the word, etc., et are you ready for this? Uh -huh. To be continued, uh -huh. so forth and so on. Uh -huh. He said, tell New Beginnings Ministries. Uh -huh. um, they did not win. He said, I never wanted them to win. Uh -huh. Now, I will tell you why he said that. He said, because with me, you never win. Ah. You are a winner. Winner. He yes. said, so Continue. I have, do you understand? That's why I changed my shirt today. Because you don't know, amen. Woo. He says, we don't win. This is what we do. We win, 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 win. win. We, we are his et cetera here on the earth. So I thought win, he said, no, he won so he can make us winners. Ah. He said he already won, but everybody on his team, okay, okay. because the team is multiplicity of people. Right. And he said, now, because I didn't come, he said, wait a minute, this last, last attack, it didn't come after a person. It came after a team. He said, so that's why I said, in this season, there are nobody who win. Everybody is a winner. He said, for a matter of fact, tell you, because he made you an et cetera, you're going to win this time. You're going to win next time. you don't win some past time. It's some times you won that you didn't even know you won. What? But let me tell you something. You're going to be like the three Hebrew boys. Yeah, God yeah. said he's going to be the theophany of God. Uh. He's going to step right in with what was supposed to burn you. And it's going to burn up all your enemies. Yeah. But you're about to come out as gold. Yeah. I wish I had somebody. Yeah. While they in the furnace, can you go on and shout while you're there? Can you throw up your hands while you're there? When your enemy come and look at you, they're going to say, I thought I killed you. No, you didn't kill me. You just refined me. You just let me know what was in me. I didn't even know I could make it out of this. Till you put me in this. Now, look at. Okay. Oh, hallelujah. That's what some folks right now that's been in that fire. And you've been trying to wonder. Why did I have to go in the fire this time? Because I want to let you know. Because after this time, you're going to know beyond a shadow of doubt. You'll never doubt God again. You'll never have an if in you again. Right. You'll just say, Lord, I thank you. The next fire I go in, I know you're burning something else yeah. off that don't need to go where I'm going. But yeah. I know one thing. You are in here with me. Yeah. Not only do I know it, so does my enemy know it. And guess what? I'm coming out without no residue. Ah. Hallelujah, somebody. Anybody right now that could not move on last week my can God. move on this week. Anybody right now my that God. couldn't breathe on last week can yeah. breathe on this yeah. week. Yeah. Is there anybody now anybody. who had a cough on anybody. last week and don't have a cough on? Is there anybody now that high blood pressure was up this Come week, on. but this week is normal? Because God said, I have stepped in, ah. in my theophany, in the place that you cannot see me, but I was working with you all the time. That's why I told you why you in here. Why don't you just go on and mess around and praise me in the midst of the yeah. fire and just act like I'm God. Because yeah. if you act like I'm God, I'll mess around and just be God. You are his earth. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hallelujah, somebody. I'm almost done. <laughs> Hallelujah. Woo. I said, well, give me a scripture then. Uh -huh. Because yeah. I don't want I don't want to just say nothing. Right. Because right. if I just say something, and I don't give you a scripture, uh -huh. then what I gave you is my opinion. Okay. And uh -huh. let me tell you something, my opinion uh -huh. will have no weight in your life. Uh -huh. But my, the word of God will always win. Always. So this is what he gave me. He said, he gave me 2 Corinthians uh -huh. 2 and 14. And it says this, now thanks be to God, which always, uh -huh. wait a minute, how many times? Always. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, always. always, which is continual, right. which is etc. causes E T E H, which means constantly. Right. Us, who us? I told you it ain't me. He said us, us. to try. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He didn't say we gon' win. Uh -huh. He said we gon' try, try. him. 
That means, oh, wait a minute. That's why he said, I want to let new beginners know. <laughs> new beginners ministries, yeah. let me tell you something. I'm going ahead of myself, but I need to drop this in you. Yeah. He said to tell you what? he could not kill you because I was with you the whole time. Oh. Somebody shout, glory. Yeah. I just thought about it the other day. Oh, I said, listen, yeah. hallelujah, somebody. I used to smoke crack. I used to smoke wet. I used to smoke she. I used to do yellow sunshine. I used to do all that stuff. I used to snort heroin. I done did all that. And that was when I was in the world. And it brought me out of that. I tried to put a needle in my arm. And he wouldn't even let me. Because he knew that was going to take me out. Let me tell you something. We let you go through this. Because he said I needed it alive. My works of my works to be done. So everybody can see you as my evidence. Yeah. And why everybody else is falling. Yeah. New beginnings. We yes. about to go up. Yes. Woo. Jesus. 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 Oh. So he said, now thanks be to God. Uh -huh. Always, Always, not sometimes, Always. causes us to triumph in Christ. And make it manifest the Savior of his knowledge in every place. He said, in other words, I put you in some places so they can see you in that predicament. Because I needed to see, let them see you for what you was in so they can see the E and D. So if I didn't ever let you go in a certain way, they wouldn't know what the ending was going to be. That's why I always told you, don't speak what you in, uh, speak what he said. Yes. And I got an expected in. And he said, in my expected in, he said, guess what? My thoughts of you ain't evil and they ain't bad. But let me give you this. I am going to bring you out. Gonna bring you out. That's what you go, what everybody say. They say, you know everybody else. You say, well, maybe that's for everybody else. But the God I serve told me he's going to bring me out. Right. See, you got to learn to say what God say, not what your situation, yeah. not yeah. what your circumstance, yeah. not what your boo, not what everybody yeah. else saying. If they ain't saying what God say, right. you better not say it. The news got bad news. But listen, when Jesus showed up, he said, all I got is good news. Uh, you shouldn't keep on listening to the bad news. And if the bad news hit you, the good news should override it. I am not going to lift up that other name. There is a name that's above uh, all names that has all power, that can annihilate, inoculate, and intimidate. Oh, and that name is Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, so oh, he made us an earth. Huh. He made you an earth. He made me an earth. Yes, yes. He said, that's why he told you, you are my etc. in this uh, season. Yes, yes. You're going to be constantly getting victory. Oh, so every oh, time you oh. go in, now you're going to know when I go in this time, I'm gonna praise him while I'm going in, and I'm gonna cause I'm, I may go in Come with on. an issue, Come on. like the woman with the issue Come of blood. On. I may go in with an issue. Uh -huh. I may go in with an issue. Uh -huh. But I'm telling you, I'm not coming out with what I came in with. Because if I can just touch the hem of his garment, amen, she went in and they knew her as the woman with the issue. But when she came out, he said, daughter, he, well, wow, you about to get a new identity. Yeah. They have conned you about what you had, yeah. but they didn't know who you had. And God said, now nah, they're going to have to rename you because you're not going to be what you used to be. You're about to be what he said he's going to be. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, I he do. is a new creature. All things oh. passed away. Behold, oh. he said, I'm about to make everything in you new. For a matter of fact, when you come out this time, there ain't going to be no residue. Uh, yeah. Somebody shout glory! Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah! That's why I keep on telling y'all, every time I go in, I know I'm coming out. Because he bought me out when I was in the world. He bought it. me I out of situations I that I got myself in. But if he allowed me to get in this situation, I know the God I serve. If he can bring me out then, because he's the same God yesterday, today, and forevermore. Every time I walk into him, I walk into victory. Do I got anybody? Oh, yes. So let right. me go back. Let me go back. Yes. So, Paul, he'll do it again. Oh, she, my rabbi. 
Woo, shall I? I uh, feel an accelerator about to hit your house. Oh my God. I feel something is about to happen. Oh my God. You're about to walk into some blessings after blessings after oh blessings after God. blessings. This is what God said. Every hit you took, he got to pay for it. Uh. How many days you took, he got to pay for oh. it. But he said he don't pay back in days. He pay back in eternity. He, ah! Oh. He said they do things in days, but I do things in eternity. He have just, for a matter of fact, they said this, and I'm getting ahead of myself, but they said this when Jesus came back with all power and authority. Uh -huh. They said this in 1 Corinthians, I think it is the sixth chapter, uh -huh. and it said this, if they just would have knew, if they just would have known, hey, Tabai, if they just would have known, new beginners ain't been sitting up here under a word that wasn't true. Uh -huh. If they just had to know, I told you when you asked me, could you have them? I told you you didn't know what was in there, but I wanted to show you this was a corporate blessing on a corporate people, and you can come in a corporate way, but I'm about to bless them corporately. Somebody shout glory. Glory. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. So what am I saying? I'm saying you are his accept. He is allowing you to get the victory in the midst of everything. Yes. For a matter of fact, yes. I am not a conqueror. Come on. Oh, I'm I am not a conqueror. Yeah. I know, y'all, when you look at me, I look like I'm normal. Uh -huh. Now, Sonya, don't you say nothing. And none of the rest of y'all that would have another um, ideal about who I am. Amen. But when I look, when you look at me and you look at somebody else, we may look normal. Uh -huh. But on. it's not until we go through something that you begin to see that I'm not normal. Ooh. Because God's supernatural is on my life. Right. And so what everybody else is complaining about, right. I'm praising God about. Right. Because I understand when I read that scripture, I already know I'm going to get the victory. Already. Oh, I already know I'm going to get the victory. So when they say you crazy, I said I am. I'm crazy about Jesus. I'm crazy about what it, listen, the crazier my praise is, the crazier the blessing is. Right. That's why when David came back from battle, he just didn't dance. He danced himself right out right. of his clothes. And they said, you must be crazy. He said, no, I'm just a child of God. Uh. The God is so, I said this, I want to say this. He said again, to let you know, I'm not just a conqueror. I'm not, I'm not just Ooh. a conqueror. He said, you are more. not just a conqueror. He said, more. for a matter of fact, you're more than more. a conqueror. Hey, man, if I was just a conqueror, for a matter of fact, I'm not even a, a, a survivor. Hallelujah. More. He didn't more. make us to fight. He made us to be overcomers. He made us to be able to triumph and overcome uh, over every obstacle in our life. Uh, I come to decree and declare to somebody uh, that's on the other side yes. of this that has been no wondering why. I come by to let you know the why of it. Because yes. God said, I'm about to give you a but God praise. But God. I but know you was, God. but God, I'm about to show up yes. in the midst of everything. But I'm about to give you a but God. But I'm God. about to shift everything Hallelujah. that you're going Going through because I've laid you there so they can see my glory. Somebody shout glory. 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 All right, all right, all right, all right. So Jesus. I'm not a survivor. Jesus. I'm an overcomer. Let me tell y'all this so y'all know this. Hell does not fight anything that is not a threat. Woo! Come on. Woo! Come on. Did y'all hear what I said? Hell does not fight Hell does not fight anything that is not a threat. Anything that's not a threat. Well, let me tell you something. You are a threat. You know why? You're even a bigger threat now. Because now, you got a testimony. Because not only did they overcome by the blood of the Lamb, uh -huh. but the other part of it was they overcame by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. testimony. See, let me tell you what he's been trying to do. He's been trying to take your testimony. Listen, he couldn't take your life. That's why you're still here. So what he's trying to do is take your mouth right now. He's trying. He couldn't kill me. Now he's trying to kill what come out of my mouth. So I'll say what I shouldn't say. So I can get what I shouldn't get. But that's why he said, speak those things that are not asked. Don't come on here. Hallelujah, somebody. I don't have it. I got him. And if I got him, he annihilates everything that comes his way. How do I know? Because they say everybody they bought to Jesus. Everybody. Everybody came out perfectly. Everybody came out whole. Somebody shout glory. Glory. Oh, Jesus. Hallelujah. Huh. All you got to do, you got to learn now. 
You got to learn in this season. Yes. You just keep on saying what God say yes. until you see what God say. Yes. And when you see what God say, yes. then you ain't got to say it no more, no more. because it's going to say now what you see. <laughs> it's going to repeat what you said yes. because now people going to see the manifestation of what you've been saying. That's why he said that when Elijah was up there and he told Gehazi, I think it was, he said, listen, go and see if you see rain. Yes. Why did he tell him that? Because God had already told him it was about to rain. About to rain. So listen, faith don't come by what you can see. Let hearing. me tell you, for a matter of fact, faith comes by hearing. hearing. So he kept sending him up there. But then he said this before he even sent him up there. He said, listen, I hear a sound. A sound? Wait a minute. What are you saying, Pastor? I'm saying there's going to be a sound before you see the manifestation. Yeah. You may not see it, but you're going to hear it. So whatever God has told you, you got to begin to decree and declare. Yeah. What you mean? Ain't no clouds in the sky. Go back and look again. What you mean? You don't see no rain. Go back and look again. I decree and declare. If you keep saying what God said, you're going to make that cloud appear because the word makes stuff happen. Yes! The word, the word that I speak, it go out and accomplish that what it set out to do. My word that where was a place where it's sunny, go up in the clouds and form something and bring it back down and make it rain. And I got an announcement. The sound you hear, wow. the thing you're about to see, wow. it's got to be an abundance yes. of rain. God said, I'm about to pour my abundance on yo. Light! Hallelujah. Somebody shout glory. Glory. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Glory, Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. He says, so as a believer, watch what you're saying. Watch what you're saying. Don't, don't keep on yes. talking about what the world is talking about. Right? Because let me tell y'all something. The world is talking about the numbers Come on. that are going up and the caskets that are going out. Uh, but I know some believers come on. Yeah. that they're not planning their funeral no, sir. because there have been more people uh, that have recovered right? than there has been those that didn't make it. And why am I saying that? Because we got to quit saying what it's saying. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And we got to start saying what God say. Right? And when we say what God say, we then we're going to start seeing what, what God, God say. say. So I got an announcement to make. Start saying what God said. God. God is about to take your situation that you have been complaining about. And God said, if you just start speaking life into it, he said, right now, today, he'll turn something around on your behalf. Uh, because what the enemy uh, has meant for uh, evil, God said, I'm about to turn it around. All right. Somebody shout glory. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, somebody. So what am I saying? He said, to tell you, yeah. remember this, he said, none of his word uh -huh. that uh -huh. he has spoken uh -huh. to New Beginners Ministry has ever failed. No, no, he said, no. so now, if you can't stand on nothing else, stand on the words. Stand on the Listen, words. don't stand on your emotions. Because your emotion moves off of, oh, of, of, of the... the the um, the information that it takes in. <laughs> oh so it, 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 your, your, your emotions move off of information. But the word of God stands even in the midst of a storm. It doesn't go by information. It is the information. It is, it is the truth. It is the life. It and is. it can't fail. Somebody shout glory. glory. So he said, remind you of this. And I'm about almost done. God cannot fail. No, he said this. God's word cannot fail. Never fail. He said it's 100% guaranteed. Yes. All he needs something, somebody to do is believe it. Only believe. He said because if you can believe it, only believe. he said I can make sure that you receive it. Yes. But only if you believe it. He said now all my promises yes. are still yea yes. and amen. In and I'm ready. Mm. To make an expedited delivery yes. of everything I've ever said, if you could just attach your faith to faith. it. If you attach your faith to it, uh. it'll take what was hope uh. and expectation, and it'll bring it from the future uh. into the now. 
I dare you to begin to praise God yeah. like you ain't never praised him Hallelujah. and begin to say what he said yeah. and watch God make it manifest Hallelujah. right here Hallelujah. on the earth. Somebody shout glory. Glory. Hallelujah. 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 I feel right now something stirring up in me. Right. I feel the word of the Lord is stirring up in me. I feel like God is saying, guess what? I'm not going to fail. I've never failed. I'm not about to fail now. And for a matter of fact, he said, tell new beginnings this. Uh -huh. According to Ezekiel 12 and 28, thus said the Lord to new beginnings ministry, yeah. there shall none of my words be prolonged anymore. But the word which I have spoken shall be done, said the Lord. Said the Lord. I dare you to throw your Hallelujah. hands up and call in everything oh, that yeah. God has ever said that he's going to do. Yes, you are healed already. Yes, you are delivered already. Yes, you have made it over already. Yes, you are more than a cop already. You got to grab that thing from out the heaven and bring it into the earth and be his earth here so he can make you his etc. Somebody shout glory. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I got to I got to quick stuff I need to drop in here. So I got this quick word that I need to drop in you right now. God said to tell you, uh -huh. because he's giving you this word, and he's about to deliver this word to you. He said, whatever you do right now, yes. don't you get tired. Yes. Yes. He said, whatever you do now. He, listen, he said, tell, oh, 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 oh. Yeah. I feel like something right there. Yeah. He said, whatever you do don't right now, tired. I feel an organ about to hit me. Oh. Whatever you do right now, yeah. he said, listen, hell know it and heaven know it. Yeah. The blessing is about to hit yeah. your heart. That's why hell is pushing against yeah. you so hard. Hell no, for for a manifestation. Yeah. It's about to hit your house. Yeah. Somebody shout glory. Glory. Hallelujah. Yeah. Glory. God, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Get back up from that place. Get back up from that place. Dust yourself back off. Yeah. Get out that grave. I call you forth for a matter of fact. Whoever you are, Lazarus, come yeah. forth. Yeah. Now I'm not just calling you forth. Yeah. Loose them and let yeah. them go. Take off them gray clothes and get back in the rain. Yes. Something is about to happen. Right. Oh, Jesus. Yes. Don't give up, though. No. Yes. Don't y'all give up right now. You need to send that right now. You need to nudge your neighbor that ain't even on the side of you. For a matter of fact, nudge yourself. Say, self, don't you give up right now. The blessing is closer than you can imagine. The reason you're going through so much hell right now, I knew when this thing hit two weeks ago. I said, uh-oh, that's an indication. The indication that something is about to happen. You only mess with significant people. That means I must be significant to the kingdom. That must mean I must go be his evidence. But guess what? I want to tell you, I'm back. Jesus. Preach. So he said, uh, tell you whatever you do, don't you give up. Don't give up. I don't know who I'm talking to. But matter of fact, D. Mays, this is what God told me to tell you. Uh, he said, keep on packing. Don't you give up. He told me to tell Antoine Burks, yes, go back and ask for them, them, them rooms that I told you about before. Yes, sir. He said, y'all was on the brink. Ah. He told me to tell Sonia there, the house is still yours if you want it. Yes, sir. He said, whatever you do, not right now. He said, I have put a paw I, I in everything that. to reset you me. so I can yeah. get you into oh, what I said. Yeah. And I'm about to put you into the next yeah. blessing. Yeah. Somebody shout glory. Glory. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah. Don't be weary. Don't, don't you give up right now. For matter of fact, I said, don't be weary. Check this out. And you're well doing. Well doing. You know it's amazing. We don't get weary when we're doing bad. Right. We right. keep on doing bad and we never get wore out. But then we get in our well doing, we allow the enemy to wear us out. We're doing our obedience. When we were disobedient, ah. we kept on trying to do things ah. in disobedience until it wore us out, until God shifted it. And now in your obedience, he's trying to say, I'm trying to get to you what you missed before. So don't neglect what I done put in you because I came out to expedite my work and I wanted to see now what the enemy does 
He lets you know your flaws uh -huh. while you're going through. Like some of us don't win the room. He say, listen, the enemy come and say, see, you didn't have enough faith. You didn't do this. You had all this. But God don't come to reveal your flaws. No, no. He actually reveals your strengths. Because let me tell you, out of all this, uh -huh. even when I shook, even when I wondered, one thing is the word of God brought me back in. He said, and then you became like Psalms, the first chapter. I was like a tree planted by the rivers of living waters. God already knew when he put you in there, he already knew you could come out of there. Now, the one thing you didn't know that you could come out of there, but he knew you could come out of there. That's why he put you in there uh, to show you he's already equipped you to win. Yeah. He did not equip you to lose. He wouldn't have allowed you to get in it. If you were going to lose, he wanted to show you that you were stronger than you ever thought you were. He said you were like a tree planted by the rivers of living water. Guess what? I bent, I swayed, but I'm still here. Standing. Standing. Hallelujah. So I got to hurry up here. I got to hurry up. I got to hurry up. You still stand. Standing. Yes, you are. How do I know you still stand? Because right now somebody is sending up some hearts. Right now somebody is sending some hand clap. How do I know you're still here? Because right now, the number is not going down. The numbers are going up. Ha! Not the numbers are going up on COVID. The numbers is going up at New Beginners Ministry. Right. While we were out, God increased us. Right. While we were out, things got bigger. God just did some things. Right. Somebody shout glory. Glory. Don't you give up. Don't. Don't give up. I don't care about the storm. Just don't you give up. Jesus is the master of storm. Yeah. He like to come when there is a storm. Yeah. But matter of fact, when he stepped in, you already in the storm. And he come to rescue you. And guess what God said? Remember, if there's no ifs, anything can happen. Mm. It can happen just like this. Just like Oh, just, just like what? Just, okay, so let me give you the scripture. St. John 6, uh, the 18th. Um, here they were. Um, Jesus had told them to go, or well, they went to go to the other side. Uh -huh. And all of a sudden, they hit a great wind. Uh -huh. Does that sound like something we just experienced? Come on, come on. We hit a great wind, we hit a great storm, and it was in the midst of darkness. Uh -huh. And the Bible says, and Jesus um, began to walk towards them. Uh -huh. um, because he realized they had left the shore, and they were trying to make it to the other side. But he also knew there was a storm that was... There was a storm that was brewing. So he said, listen, you ain't got to come to me in the midst of the storm. He said, I'm about to walk to you today. And the Bible says they were seeing walk, Jesus walking on the sea, and they were afraid, and they began to ask him, who are you? And let me tell you what he said. What so let me tell you so you won't be tripping in this season uh -huh. of your life. Uh -huh. He said, don't be scared. It's me. It's me. Oh, wait a minute. What you say? Don't. Don't, don't, because see, I'm telling you, this is what God told me this morning. He said, tell there are some people who are in a lukewarm situation like Zacharias was. He said, tell you he's about to answer a prayer you forgot about. Oh, glory. He said, there's something you have forgot about, and I'm about to answer it. And when I come with the answer, it's going to blow your mind. Right, and right. I want to tell you, because a lot of times we take, don't be scared, it's the enemy. But do you know God can speak so much unbelievable stuff, it can literally scare you? Uh -huh. And so he showed up to Zacharias. Uh -huh. He said, I heard your, prayer. heard your prayer. He said, wait a minute, I wasn't here offering. He said, I ain't talking about this prayer. I'm talking about the prayer you prayed back in the day. Oh, he said, God. and I have sent an angel to let oh, you know God. That what you prayed, I ain't forgot about it. Oh and God, God said to tell somebody that's listening today, there is a prayer oh. that you have prayed oh. some years ago that has been traveling down oh. through time, oh. that has been waiting for a time like this. Because God said, I got to bless you so big you'll forget about oh. what you just went oh. through. But he said, don't be scared. Don't be afraid. Don't be God. scared. Don't so be let me go back to my story because I'm almost out of time. So I'm going to stay within this 40 minutes, I promise you. But let me give you this. Let me give you this. And on verse 21, they saw him. This is in St. John 6 chapter. Uh -huh. And then they willingly mm, asked him to come into the ship. And this is what the Bible says. Uh -huh. And immediately. Immediately. The storm was over. And they made it to the other side, to the land. 
I come by to tell you, Jesus, if you allow him on your oh, ship, God. you are about to find out what you've been toiling through, what you've been working through, what you've been tripping about. He said, I'm about to step in on your ship and you about to have a sudden. Uh -huh. Woo, I wish I had somebody right there that understood a sudden is about to happen. The storm is about to cease. The toilet is about to stop. And your suddenly is about to happen. And you're about to have a, another safe landing. Somebody shout glory. Glory. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so he told me to remind you of something. You got to remember in Mark, the second chapter, uh -huh. there was something that happened. Uh -huh. So I don't want, because I'm giving you apostolic instructions right now. Let me tell you what happened in Mark, the second chapter. Uh -huh. We know the man with palsy came. Right. And the Bible says this, and Jesus saw their faith. Saw their faith. But let me tell you what happened. The people, no, Jesus saw their faith. Uh-huh. But the audience saw the miracle. Uh, Listen, I'm finna tell you uh, that which Jesus seeing that nobody else can see, uh -huh. he's about to create it for the audience that he has had watching you when they said you was crazy for going through all those. For matter of fact, when they said, What you doing going to church? Because God said, I saw your faith. Now I'm about to show them the miracle. That's why I allowed them to see you go through everything you was going through. But here's the key. When they came out, this is what the audience said. We ain't never seen it done like this before. Now I'm going to tell you something. This is about to be the testimony of that which people are about to say around you. So you will know people that are unbelievers uh -huh. are about to quote scripture. Uh, and they ain't even going to know. This is what they're going to say. I ain't never seen it done like that before. And you're going to say, wait a minute, that's a scripture. They say, I don't believe in scripture. Say, I didn't ask you, did you believe in scripture? I want to know if you believed in the miracle. Uh, and you must have believed in the miracle because you said, you said, I ain't never seen it done like, like this before. You said it. Well, I ain't got time to tell you the testimony to go around that. But if you would just ask Shaw, Shaw was sharing with her father everything that done went on during the midst of this. She said, Daddy, let me tell you something. In the midst of this, uh. I have gotten my mortgage paid by somebody else. People are cash after me money. They're paying my bills. They're doing this. They're doing that. Oh. And she said, who doing that? She said, my church is. He said, I ain't never heard of a church never. that do anything like that. I she said, that's right, because you ain't never been in New Beginnings right? before. And that's the testimony of New Beginnings ministry. When an unbeliever can say, I ain't never yes. seen it done like, like that. Before. And the Bible said, and they were so amazed. They were astonished. God said, he's about to astonish your audience because of your faith. Somebody shout glory. Glory. All right, so let me give you this Ooh. last part because I got four minutes, Simon. Oh, four minutes. God. I ain't going to ask for no more time. Now, let me give you this real quickly. If you get a chance, because I ain't going to have time to read this because I just need to release this last part. God said, tell you, I'm about to recompense you. Uh, glory, glory, glory. <sighs> Simon, can I have four more minutes? He said, tell you, he's about to recompense you. Not only is he about to recompense you, he's about to reward you. What do that mean? That means you're about to get a double blessing. Woo! He said, listen, you could have not went through what you went through, and I don't recompense you for all the injury that you went through for me. Now I got to pay you back. I got to rec. He said, don't cast away your confidence, which has a great recompense and reward. He said, because you have need of patience, that after you have done my will, what? that you shall receive the promise. And he said, he that will come, shall come, and the wait is over. Oh, Hallelujah, somebody. So let me go on and let me show you your 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 recompense uh, package. Uh -huh. Can right. I show you your recompense package? You know, <laughs> uh, this is the package that's guaranteed. Now I want to see how many y'all shout off of this. I don't know if y'all shout or not. I know right now I'm preaching myself happy. This is what he told me to tell you. He said your recompense package looked like this. Amos nine. Ah. Woo! Ah. Woo I told you he's about to make it all worth it, y'all. He said, you about to receive. He said, um, for a matter of fact, 
He said, let me show you. Yeah, they told my wife they're going to send her, uh, what's that package when, uh, when the job left? They're about to send her a seventh package. Uh -huh, uh -huh. They're about to send her uh -huh. that which she had already been oh, away. Right, right, right. He said, I'm about to recompense you. And if you know anything about workman's comp, uh -huh. they, they pay you from the first day you put in an application. The first day. I don't care when the money comes. They have to retroactively right. pay you from the time that it happens. That's true. So I'm telling you, God said, I'm about to retroactively go back to the first time somebody did something to you. And I'm about to recompense you, not for just that, but just for what you went uh. through. And he said, if you didn't know it, but what you just went through gave you the Amos 9, but for all the other stuff in Ephesians 3 and 20, because I'm about to go exceeding abundantly, even above this. Uh. Okay, so I got one minute. Oh. I got one minute. I got one minute. I got one, one, one minute. I just got to tell you, don't give up right now. This is about to be big. Don't you give up right now. Breathe. This is about to be tremendous. Breathe. Don't you give up right now. This is about to be all God. Yeah. Don't you give up right now. Get back in the town. Get yeah. back in the race. Get back in your place yeah. so you can get your compensation package. Yeah. Get back connected yeah. to the one who got everything. Get Somebody back. shout out. So get Amos back. 9, Amos 9. Yes, indeed. It won't be long. It won't be long. Now, God's decree things are going to happen. This is what he said. As much bad news you got, I got to give you more good news. <laughs> Things no! are going to happen so fast, your head is going to swim. One thing on the heels of the other. And he said, and you ain't going to be able to keep up with everything. You will be happy. Everything will be happening all at once. And everywhere you look, Blessings on blessings, like wine pouring off the mountains, and healed. And I'm about to make everything right for new beginnings ministries. Yeah. Somebody shout glory. Glory! Well, 40 minutes and 27 seconds. Yeah. I'm telling you, y'all, God is putting together your package. Yeah. And I'm telling you, he's yeah. about to pay you. For a yeah. matter of fact, the St. John, the 16th chapter, it talks about a woman being in travail. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And he said, now, when this woman went in travail, she was in travail for a season and a time. But she said, after the baby was born, uh -huh. he said, she forgot no more of the pain that she went through. Uh -huh. God's saying, I'm about to bless you in such a manner. You won't even remember, mm. you won't even remember mm. Mm. what you've been through. Because God said, I'm about to allow you, you. to hold the baby, Thank the you. promise that I promised you. you. And when you look in the eyes of it, you. you're going to forget all Thank about you. the pain. Bless you. you. I'm telling you, y'all, we in this season. Hallelujah. I want to encourage you. Hallelujah. Don't you give up right now. Hallelujah. Don't you give up right now. Hallelujah. Listen, the enemy know your package is big. Hallelujah. He's Hallelujah. already got a glimpse of your future. That's why you've been in the fight you've been Jesus. in. But guess what it's been? It's been a good fight of faith. But guess what? You've already won. Because yes. God said, I've made you in this season my yes. earth. You are my etc., yes. which is about to make you a believer. Yes. Going to make you a doer. And then guess what you're going to do? You're going to be a receiver. Because ah. God said, it's about to hit your house and it's about to hit you right now. Somebody give God some glory. Hallelujah. Somebody, come on, y'all. Come on, let's Hallelujah. give God some glory. Give me some heart. Give me some thumbs up. Glory. Somebody glory. just say, Lord, I, for a matter of fact, say, Lord, Lord, Lord I, receive I receive my recompense. My recompense. Package. Package. With the reward. With the reward. Right now. Right now. I believe it. I believe it. Hallelujah. And I guarantee you. Glory. Because you said I believe it, some things are about to start hitting your house. I and it's about it. to start hitting your house now. So, Father, it. I pray right now that this word have encouraged yes, your people. Yes, the ones who've been sitting on the other end. Yes, God. Some have already been praising you. Yes, God. But today I believe there's a reset yes, that has happened. And now they understand that you have kept tally yes, God. of every tear. Yes. Every pain, every doubt, yes. everything 
they went through. Yes, and now you're about to step in yes. and recompense these, your people, new beginnings, yes. Facebook, yes. everybody who's been going through. For a matter of fact, while I'm here, thank you, God, thank you. for bringing us all out. Thank, Thank you. you for bringing the winners family out. Thank you. Thank you, God, because you've just been God all yes, by yourself. Yes. Even when it looked helpless, yes, you God. needed to step Thank in you. to show us who oh, you were. Jesus. So, Father, we thank you right Thank now you, for the manifested glory. Because you said this, and I'm going to give you this. God told me the other day, tell you, we didn't make a mistake. He said, tell you, the only reason that we went through this is because of St. John, the ninth chapter. Come on. So we can see the works of God be manifest in us so we can become his etc. Yeah. So don't think you did anything wrong. Yeah. Actually, you was in the right place ah. at the right time so he could be what he wanted to be in your life, yeah. the manifested glory. Manifested and we thank glory. you right now. Hallelujah, somebody. Guess what, new beginnings? Yes, sir. Hallelujah. We're going to be back next week. Right. Did y'all hear what I said? No. We're going to be back next week. We're going to be back. We're going to be back. Yes. We're going to be back. Bigger, better, stronger, more worship, more praise yes. like we've never seen before. Yes. Amen. So you know what time it is? It's seed sowing time. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. So listen, y'all, for your tithes, your offering, your giving, amen, it should be there on the uh, Facebook posting, amen, it should show you how to give, cash app, yes. amen. If you want to go on our website, you can go on our website, www.mynewbeginning.org, go on uh, uh, pay PayPal, however you want to do it. You can drop it in the mailbox, however you want to do it. But listen, I would not miss this time, in the midst of this, to keep on being an earth. Earth, yes. Did you hear what I said? Yes. Now, this is a challenge for some people. Because the only way, like I told you before, I don't tithe, I'm a tither. Right. I don't give, I'm, I'm a, a giver. giver. I don't praise, I'm a praiser. praiser. I don't worship, I'm a worshiper, yes. which means it's my lifestyle. My lifestyle. I would not in this season, not right when my recompense package is about to hit my house, I would not stop doing my earth so he can make you his etc. So, Father, we bless you right now. Now, while I'm here, there could be somebody on Facebook that does not know Jesus Christ as their personal Savior. And we want to give you this invitation before we get out of here to let you know that, listen, God loves you no matter what. No matter, no matter, what. matter what you've been through, he yeah. loves you. For a matter of fact, I want to pray for the ones that have backslidden in the midst of all this. I want to pray for you first. And then I'm going after the sinner because there's somebody on here that done gave up. And guess what? On um, this week, I had to repent. I said, listen, I was praying, and God said this to me. He said, um, if you don't have faith, it's sin. Mm. In that scripture, he said there was an area that you didn't have enough faith for. He said, repent to me and watch me restore you. I said, Father, forgive me for not believing you, for not trusting you. I trusted you with me, but when it came to others, Sometimes I waver it for a moment. And even that moment, I want to tell you I'm sorry for that moment because I'm going to get to the point where moments don't happen no more. I'm just going to be a continually earth that never stops. So if you're here today, let me pray for you, Father, for all the backsliders, yes. for all those who um, almost gave up, for all those who did give up. We pray that they be restored right now. And then for everybody else, just repeat after me. Say, Lord, Lord I, repent I repent for all my sins. All my sins. I, come I come to you today. I ask that you touch me today. I, I ask that you today. save me today. Save I confess with my mouth. And I believe in my heart that Jesus Christ died for my sins. And I receive the salvation package that God has for me. And guess what? You're saved. Hallelujah, somebody. So listen, I love your New Beginnings Ministries. Listen, we back. Yeah. Hallelujah. I'll see you on next Sunday. But until then, just give God some praise. Yeah. Hallelujah. See you next Sunday. Yeah.